Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Satisfactory. So we are back and uh, I've expanded the base up a bit more here. Um, as you can see, this is our steel production over here. And the big expansion was over on this side actually. And I brought it up to around the same level. I just seemed better. If I brought it lower, there'd be less space to be used. But if I leave it up this height, there's a lot of space to be used. So I thought that would be worthwhile to do. So what I wanted to check was how much we're getting for quartz uh, coming in. We're going to start a quartz little factory over here for now. I got a tube finally set up so we can go and ride that. It'll cut down time having to run across the desert back and forth and uh, get a nice pretty view. And <laughs> I'm kind of happy we finally got this up and running. And of course I got the quartz all uh, lined up. Uh, under here you can see, so now we have it uh, everywhere. And then I got another tube here to get to the quartz itself. I don't know if I finished this other end yet. I think I might have, but I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, it looks like there is a thing. Okay, so we're going to just check to see what our quartz is making and uh, what speed we can get. So it does 120 of us. This is a good one. I like that. <laughs> Excuse me. So that will bring it to 300. And uh, so, yeah, they're normal. So, I mean, that's that's good. 300 is good. So that, that means we're getting 600 uh, from these guys. So that's kind of what I wanted to see, 600. So we got to do the math. So... Uh, you can do 37.5 raw quartz. That's how much you can do, right? So let's get out the calculator. 600 divided by 37.5. So we would need 16 <laughs> to keep up to the full speed. 16. Uh, wow, that's uh, there's a lot of the constructors. What are they called? I'm calling the constructors. I think I failed the name on that, but... Yeah, it's beautiful. Hello, Mr. Bean. I feel so bad running into those, and they they actually fall over. But at the same time, it's kind of fun. <laughs> I think that may make me slightly a horrible person. Oh, you know what we should do before we uh, finish this, or, or not finish it, but work on this? We should throw a thing into the research right away because. Uh, We've been working on that. Uh, last time we put something in, uh, another hard drive, so there should be something done. And we'll see what we've got in there. But yeah, so yeah, today is the basically just working on some quartz, expanding on the quartz a bit, uh, maybe doing some other things. I need to get uh, steel to um, uh, the bars. What do you call those things? Can't even think of their name right now. These guys right here. Iron rods. Yeah. Even though they'd be kind of like steel iron rods. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what do we have here? So, we got the ability to make uh, the hard plates here. Can't even think of the word right now. Iron plates. They're not called iron plates, so I can't think of them. But anyways, the more reinforced plates, uh, you can use three iron plates and one rubber from one of those. Or 12 screws, six plates. Um, it's a little slower, but that's that's interesting. I mean, that's not too bad. Uh, here's one for the quartz stuff, actually. This is what we're working on now. Requires water. I think that's really cool. Um, I know that production requires a bit more. I think I'll leave that alone right now, but that is actually a really cool recipe. And then we have one for a beacon, which is actually using something that we're going to be making here and stuff. So I think I'll go with this one. I like the idea it's using rubber, um, and it gets rid of... Yeah, it's using rubber, and it gets rid of the whole needing of screws. So it's actually uh, a little more efficient in that sense. Uh, and it's three less. Okay, so yeah, that's actually not too bad. So uh, you get more out of that, I guess. Right? So six to one, three to one. Yeah, so... Three and then one and then yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that a lot actually and rubber and oil and that kind of stuff We want to ramp that up eventually anyway, so I like that. I like that a lot. So we'll go. Yes for that one Cool, let's go ahead and put another hard drive in there. I got them over here and uh, Let's analyze that please. Thank you Okay, so let's run over here and make I, I Don't know if I'm gonna actually do 16. I think I'm gonna I mean why not? Um, I'm gonna need other resources like those plates, so <laughs> Speaking of plates and what did we pick up here? 
Oh, that's probably because when I was cleaning, when I was putting the platform, I probably there was an iron ore node there or something like that. And oh yeah, it was wires as well there. I'm sure I'm going to need other materials as well here, but uh, I'll start for now. So yeah, it said 16. Is it the music? I think so. It's like I almost hear the faint noise of like, oh, is there one of those slugs or something around? I'm like, pretty sure. Yeah, it's just the music. Sometimes the music has like have like uh, that that pitch in the 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 music itself, and it's just like, wait a minute, is there something there? It's like, no, no, no. Okay, so we're doing 600. The belts themselves can't do 600 yet, unfortunately. In the future, we're gonna have belts that obviously can do 600. Um, but for now, our belts are still at, like, what was it, 4-something? 4 480. Pretty damn close. Um, makes me want to be a bit lazy, but I think I, what I can do is I can do something a little more interesting, make this a bit more fun, I think. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and do the constructor. Let's do it on, you know, land that I can work on. Okay, and one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And this is why I love playing the way we play. Um, you know, this is where you're supposed to go vertical in some ways, you know, you can make factories that are taller and longer and whatever, or upper kind of thing, but, you know, and a lot of people say that, like, don't forget, you can go up, right? And that's the thing I like trying not to do. I like to try to do it long and wide and spread out, like, I feel like that is the kind of the fun part of it. Um, so, yeah, I actually like doing my way of doing it, because it's just, it's, it's messy, it's awesome because of it. Uh, I think that's kind of how I'm going to always be, I think, in this game. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. We want a splitter, not that. Okay. Obviously, we're going to come in with this. Um, so you want to get these a little close because you don't want them too far because then you're just kind of wasting time. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I guess we just put these in and hopefully we get them in the, the right spot each time. Just going to match these up. Got to do it 16 times. That's a lot. They're gonna have to do the same thing, you know, merge 16 mergers at a time. And so I'm kind of running this out right now as in like one line, but I'm gonna like then part way. I think what we'll do is we'll have something like a merger or something. I screwed up here, didn't I? I hope that's all right, but yeah, we screwed up here. There you go. There we go. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. I love it so much. Okay, so... How do I want to do this? I think this is the idea. Sometimes we have to... Yeah. I think sometimes I was able to kind of work on it like... Now, I kind of have to work on it backwards, I guess. That's wrong. It's like that belt twisted too much for my liking. Okay. Um, yeah. So same idea. There you go. Okay. So now remember we have limited speed on the belts, right? We're actually limited everything because those belts are only producing 300, right? But we did 600 on here, so I, I guess what we can do for now is we can split this in half in a sense. Now, these are probably... Actually, they're they're even, I think. Divided by... Yeah, they're even, so it's 16. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What we can do here is we'll just spin this around, and this just just be this one. Now, I don't think it works this way. 
you have to take it down each time because I'm pretty sure I've always had issues of it working like that. So what we can do now is we'll just go like this. And uh, yeah, so there you go. That's split up like that. Now we just need to bring in the lines, I guess. So uh, yeah, yeah, let's let's do that. So obviously we're gonna have. I want it kind of on the line here, but just thinking like that, and like that. It's not gonna quite fit here. At the same time, you're probably gonna want a little higher so you're not running into it for whatever reason there you go and this is where you probably should have used the other thing for this this is the downside because it's like eh. but you know what we don't need to put this one right there actually I might put it side of, of it cuz yeah I think I will do that because then what we can do here There you go. We'll keep this up one higher, kind of thing. So we don't need to. We don't need to. Uh, yeah, let's just do this because we just need to bring it over here, right? So. I know we are not usually doing it this way anymore, but for this, I'll do it. Oh yeah, I love that. Look at that. It was actually a good curve there for that one. And there you go. So now these guys will fill this side up, and that should work out really, really well. Okay, now we have to. <laughs> This is the nightmare part. So it outputs 22.5, which is probably good news because it's probably going to be, we'll see, 22.5 times 16 is 360. So that's actually a really awesome number because that means I can merge it all in one and I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, splitting up the belts or anything like that. It's a simple, you know, math for that. So th that actually saves us some time and energy there. So let's go ahead and logistics and make a merger here. And yeah, so here we go from, yeah, we go, I don't want it too close. There you go. So this is your merger. And then you got to make sure you do your arrows fine or you'll cry if you don't. There you go. So always pay attention to those two arrows. Or I shouldn't say arrows, but two lines, sorry. There you go. I love it. Okay. So we're going to put you in here. So same idea now. Just the opposite. Now we're merging it all instead of splitting it all. Oh. Except when I screw up accidentally. <laughs> You know, I just realized, didn't we make our uh, power line before we finished the research of the tier 3 one? I never even looked at the material cost for that. I'm guessing it requires some sort of more advanced quartz stuff for it. But, uh, or was it quartz or the other type? It might have been the other kind of material. But it still probably requires something more advanced with that material, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so let's see what that requires. I'm kind of interested. So MK3 pull requires, ah, those guys. So yeah, and they're 10 connections basically. So that's pretty cool. So it requires rubber, the steel tubes, and then the, uh, I forget what those connections are called, but uh, yeah, that's pretty fair. Uh, let's see here. So uh, we're doing organization now. We're gonna get an industrial container put in here. And that's it. That should be good. Now what we need to do, is attempt to power this whole damn thing on which is uh, that'll be a fun job so i'm gonna just place one of these every so often i just place these uh higher tier ones these days like this and then i just come back and rewire it and i might i might put a little extra on there but I, it doesn't really matter too much okay so you there you there i think i actually was very uh I definitely put a lot extra than I normally do, but that's fine.
it's always better to have more connections or yeah the extra connections and no connections right so it's not really a, a bad thing that's for sure I think that's it they all look pretty much powered I guess don't see anything lighting up okay so um oh you know what this probably doesn't have power itself though <laughs> Yeah, I don't think this is connected to any power grid, so it would never work, you know. So I guess we can bring it over here. Uh, there you go. Let's upgrade that in case one day I need it and don't have the right items on me. It's already pre-done. Okay, so now uh, it's kind of the fun part. I wonder if I could climb up here and actually like work on each one. Sometimes I wish these like there was like a if they're close like this, leveled like this, that there can be like, say, a special platform that can kind of, you know, connect to these and make it like uh, something that you can walk through on all of them. Wouldn't that be awesome? Um, anyways, uh, what are we making here again? Oh yeah, crystal quartz. Uh, you know what? It's too late now for that. Oh, well, I'll do them this way. I just like, you know, I, I like doing it the opposite way because then they kind of fill up the stuff, you know, further ahead. But I, I won't bother this time with it. But uh, I do like when I when I do that. I don't know. It's just one of those things. Okay. You know what I could do? I could do this. Jump ahead. Oh, that was a pain. Because <laughs> you kind of have to go right to the edge anyways for it. I guess if you do it right, you can. There you go. But hey, the good news is I guess we don't have to worry about these guys anymore. We'll have plenty of these guys for now on. And I say that now, but I'm sure I, you know. I felt like my steel was doing good, and I, I uploaded it to that that one page, and statistically, it was like. No, you need more steel than you can produce. <laughs> it's like right now in your factory. I'm like, well, screw you. I've been working hard on that. So there you go. Look at that. That's running through there. Uh, this will be fun to... This is all running, right? So let's just double check to make sure it's all green across the board then. Yeah, everything's green and everything's A-OK. -okay. So of course, like I said, it'll take a while for it to catch up. So some of these might be going to yellow from time to time that's what happens because these don't evenly split like these ones on the end right so once these start buffering up and filling up so you see how this is filling up these ones are obviously probably pretty full now right so they're slowly working their way there so eventually those end ones will be just as full and this thing will be running full time so awesome so there you go we got our uh, our quartz stuff done so let's see uh, what we can do with this holy crap isn't that beautiful, just seeing that come in like that? Oh, look at that belt, awesome. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Might as well grab a fifth one here because it's coming in like candy right now. And then I can craft something with this. I'll have to figure out what that recipe was. I had saved it before. Ah, yes, I have it now. So the recipe was 36 of those, 28 uh, cables, and 106 of the uh, reinforced plates. And that, my friends, would create uh, two, I believe, crystal oscillators. Uh, oscill os oscillator, that's what it's called, yeah. So that's actually not too bad of a recipe. So uh, I need more of those plates, of course. I, I manufacture them now, and even then, that's not enough to keep up with what we have demand-wise in our factory. So it actually is not a bad idea that we look into manufacturing a bunch more of those uh, with steel. And then... Um, I need rubber, yeah, rubber as well, so I have to bring that in. And then the crystal thing, well, the crystals now we have just insane amounts of it, so it's not, that's not really an issue anymore. Let's just drop a couple of these anyways. I know I was getting low over here, so I thought, oh, I'll just get a couple here. So, yeah, let's do this oscillator thing now that we can make them. Feels good. Oh, look at that. 18 hammers to make that. Whew. I think that was like when the the client lags there that I didn't hit anything else or move my mouse so oh that was weird I was just gonna pretend that was who knows why <laughs> it's like I, I tried to make an excuse for everything but I'm just gonna give up on that one I have no clue why that one did that 
my inventory, it's interesting. The UI is not to size, right? And I mean, I love having extended inventory, but I wouldn't mind. I guess the relevant items is pushing things down too, but I wouldn't mind the interface being a little stretched a little higher. I mean, I have more space, lower end, higher. So, I mean, uh, you know, hey, devs, I highly doubt any dev would ever be watching me play, but... Uh, not a bad idea, maybe to increase the size slightly, just so all the the slots can fit in there, if possible. There you go. How many else can we get? Oh, there you go. We made all of them. I was gonna say, you know, we'll probably should stop soon if it's gonna keep going. So here we go. We got a new recipe. Oh, look at the wire recipe. So right now we take two of them to make one of these, or you can take nine. And you and six rubber to make 20. That's actually not a horrible recipe. I honestly think that's actually better than, yeah. I, I don't think that's bad. I like that. Um, I don't think I'd do it right away, but the, the thing is reducing the number of these required makes things, th that makes things way better, honestly. Okay, so over here, uh, so the crystal oscillator, which we just made some, uh, right now that's the recipe. You can use 10, so a lot less, and then 7 rubber uh, to make the oscillator. And uh, these things are a bit more annoying because it requires 5 of the copper, 20 of those things. Eh, I'm happy with the oscillator recipe because this would improve it, plus my new one for this, 3 plates, the 3 rubber. All that basically would really help in the end uh, work, so... Yeah, I think I, I'd go ahead and leave that alone, honestly. So quartz, let's check out this research. That's all. You just needed three of those. I think it was three or five. There you go. Oh, look at this. There's a buggy. There's a freaking buggy. Oh, yeah, we're, we're getting that. Uh, <laughs> I forgot there was there was another vehicle. I remember a long time ago seeing this. And I think the, the reason this one's nice is it's like a true explorer vehicle. Like, it, it lets you really go off road and like get up on like things what is this one map what oh i know what's gonna be here this is gonna be the radio dude this is gonna be the radio i bet you i didn't realize that was in there oh you know what i'm sorry but we, we have to do the map now that's too uh that's too insane okay so we'll come back in five minutes and work on that more but uh that is, uh, I'm sorry, but that has to be done. Okay. <laughs> I might be getting a little excited here. Uh, so we need to start looking into rubber production, oil extraction. No, not oil extraction, refinery. So what do we need for you guys? We actually have, oh, we're a little low on the pumps, and we're going to be low on those a bit. And Okay, we're going to be low on a few things in the end here. Um, I guess I can dump you in there for now. And the hard drives, well, I'll keep you because I want to use you from time to time, but I really don't need you that much right now. Uh, let's get rid of some of you guys. Uh, I have all these extra, like your jetpack, and they, I mean, they are useful, right? But for now, let's get rid of them. I'll just say I don't need them right now, and we're just going to act like we don't need them right now. Um, yeah, we actually got extra of these guys because we thought we might have needed them. We got extra concrete right now, which we won't need probably. <laughs> I say probably, you know. Uh, explosions, I don't think I need any of those right this minute either. There we go. Now we're starting to clean up this inventory a bit. Um, I think I needed some of those anyways, but whatever. Uh, so refinery. Actually, you know what you're supposed to do? The plus here. There you go. So motors, encased beams, uh, steel pipes. You're going to need more steel pipes. A lot more copper sheets, actually, because that's going to be used for everything, right? So, um, And then uh, get a couple more of these. And then I want to get uh, steel pipes. Encased beams are not too bad. Oh, yeah, motors. That was going to be our issue. And I only had uh, an odd number here. I don't like that. So let's go grab some new fresh motors. Fresher. So if you want the freshest one, grab from the bottom here. These ones are the, the freshest uh, from the batch. <laughs> okay. I need to get a tube over here eventually so I can work on uh, getting over here easier. But uh, here, I'll jump up and down and you can enjoy looking at the keychain, dude. He's like, hello. 
So yeah, we don't have any rubber production. I don't know if you guys realize that. Originally when we set this up, we had lots of ru rubber and plastic. Well, we didn't have lots, actually. It was pretty pitiful. We couldn't keep up with anything uh, at the time. But now we have no rubber production. And uh, that's going to become a problem. So what we need to do is start working on uh, creating rubber in here. And uh, we got lots and lots of oil to go here. Uh, basically, this setup is literally dedicated for plastic making, which just should be running perfectly fine 24-7. All this should be, like, you know, going perfectly. There should be no, no slowdowns. There should be no clogging. Uh, this is iffy. It's the pressure is like almost iffy level makes me wonder Everything else is full. I guess if it's the last one. Yeah, that stays full Okay, well if it's always keeping up pretty much then I think that's fine. Yeah, I Mean pretty much it would be producing 300 so it kind of makes sense I think that's what the math was so um, what is the... I should actually check out what the math is this on these guys. So, yeah, it takes uh, 30 of these per minute. So, yeah. And you got how many of these? Well, I guess it would be 10, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So, yeah, 300 oil. Is that is that what we were doing? 300 oil? Because the pipes were 300, right? Yeah. So, let's check this out. Yeah, I guess... I mean, it's keeping up. It's just... I guess the throughput is just, it barely hits there. So if you really, really wanted to, I guess you could split it there. But I mean, I don't I don't think it's a concern. I think it's still getting in there. I don't think it's not running. So actually, you could check the efficiency. This should say 100 pretty much the way it's running now. So if this is running at, uh, the, the efficiency is broken so bad. I think efficiency is just broken at this time. It, is, it runs at a 93% efficiency, so maybe 0 to 1%. Okay. Uh, yeah, basically, if it runs at 100%, it seems to be, like, hitting a bad variable where it just doesn't understand. It's like, eh, you're not doing so well. So, yeah, so to produce what we need for these guys, this is the problem. We don't have the room for plastic, actually. If we had to build 10 of these, we'd have to fit them over here, which I guess we could do that. The, those things are going away anyways eventually that's we already talked about that but yeah I guess it would be it have to be in here somewhere so I guess you just put it like say right here but the thing is it has to be able to travel yeah see that's the problem I don't want it to get stuck in the desert there um, let's go over here grab you So I say somewhere like around this line. It can it can have its own little section. It doesn't need to be with everything else, right? So uh, and it just needs to be the oil itself. So if this would work like that, that would work. One. Yeah, I think we could do that. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh crap. Eight. Nine. Did I did it work? Yeah. Oh, we did it. Okay. I was worried it was like. I was honestly a little worried there. I thought it was like maybe teeter tottering to failure for me. Um, I might not even eat that. This is. Is it the same? I thought it was, but I'm not even sure anymore. Oh, sorry. That's that one. Uh, rubber. Oh, wait. Oh, you produce that much. Oh. 30. Yeah, I think that's the same recipe. It just outputs less of the other kind. 20, 20, 30. So 30 and 20, 20. Uh, and then this is 30, 20, and 10. Oh, wait. It produces even more. It produces even more than <laughs> Oh, damn. Um, you can do residual, but you need other stuff with that. So, yeah, you're going to be producing more with these guys. Okay. Right, let's deal with that. Okay, let me uh, pause this, and I'll work on this a wee bit. And uh, then we'll head and uh, do some more research. Actually, let's let's do that now. I'll go and get the research. Okay. Because this only is going to take five minutes, right? Yes. I want to know about mapping. You received email. The map has been unlocked. Zed. <gasps> How do I hide? Oh, there you go. Oh, my goodness. Is this our legitimate exploration area then? Oh, this is so freaking cool. So we've been everywhere on this map. 
in this area. As far as I know, there's still like a big chunk down here, but that is so freaking cool. So all this black is like, I guess it, it, this map has altitude kind of thing. So you're going to have to explore up higher. I think this is where it was like meeting the green area. This was like all the green area in here. I think there's a bit of green area in here. And this was that weird, you know, the water was running down and it looked really pretty. And it was like really high up in the sky. And we saw some, one of these islands, like something like over here that had uranium on it. I think that was that part, but that is really cool. So we've actually unlocked a freaking map in the game. Okay, so, uh, oh yeah, so there's the radio technology. So that's how you unlock uh, the radar itself, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you need a radio control unit, which is probably rad related to that. And then there's a radio signal scanning, so that's something cool. And then there's the buggy, which we're going to research. Okay, so I'm going to continue working on that rubber, and we'll be back in a few. Okay, I think things are going pretty good here, my friends. Um, can I hook you up? There we go. We should have power now? No. Wait. That doesn't even make sense. Did I not? Did I just... Wait, what? What did I just plug that into if that didn't power it up? <laughs> Anyways, that should work. Um... So I did something a little different on here, which was bring these closer, which didn't work well, but it did in the end work. It's a little twist and it's a little funny looking, but I'm going to leave it alone. It actually kind of looks cool. Um, I'm hoping that pressure wise there won't be an issue. Uh, that being said, I'll probably just put a pump here uh, at the end of it anyways. Actually, let's just do that uh, just for flow reasons, just to make sure. Um, but uh, yeah, I think there won't be any issues. Um, logistics, there we go. So remember, you got to flip it the right way. There you go. And then that can go on to say that one. Oh, that's a regular. There you go. Hopefully, yeah, all the stacks are on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No oil is going into it yet, obviously, but uh, it gets a little excited ahead of time, I guess. So now I guess what we need to do is bring the oil here. I'm just going to probably just steal it off here and not do it even fancy for now. Just go ahead and... Uh, I'm gonna keep it a nice height right now, cause it flows right. If that's if it's already flowing at a good height, right, might as well, you know, bring it that way, and then it flows a bit better. I, or at least I feel like it would. Oh, it's uh, encroaching on the pump. Okay, bye pump. We can still fix the pump thing. It's just uh, there you go. There you go. Now, I don't like this, actually. I gotta redo this, sorry. I just realized there's something I don't like about this, and it's simple that I actually like. And it kind of sucks, because it... Rem eh, no, it won't be a problem. I like the idea of these things. I just like to know, like, see if it's working, and if it's full, and, you know, that kind of stuff. So, I feel like that would hinder it a wee bit, if that makes any sense, so... I feel like I'd rather put another one of these in. Apparently, I'm missing... Is that plastic? What am I missing for that? Organization, right? Plastic. There you go. So I should have plastic around here. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. That just makes me feel better. And then I could put the pump right on the end of this too, probably. Or actually, can you do it... There, there's a thing and it shows you how you can do them. I don't know if you can, you're can. you supposed to do it before or after. Is this even? Well, that's, yeah, it looks pretty good. Too damn close, unfortunately. There you go. Oh, it's this thing. It probably was that the entire time again. There you go. I will deal with the pump stuff later. Uh, okay, so let's bring this over here. I mean, technically this should help fix any flow issues anyways, to be honest. So there shouldn't be much of an issue to begin with, but... Oh, yeah. Um, you can do it again there. So you can only change it before you place it. So you have to go like this, and then you can do your... You're spinny if you wanted to like that. There you go. 
And then, uh, yeah, not enough. So we're going to go here. And uh, you can even go like this for fun if you wanted to. And there we go. Let's grab into that one. There we go. Looks weird, but whatever. And that, my friends, should get a, give us some oil coming in here. Awesome. And then, uh, obviously, the rubber will start being produced from here, which, once again, that's something we want. And I'll be happy. So I'll finish the rest of this off camera. Um, I might take these down and burn, you know, sinking like what I'm going to do temporarily because I need power anyways, too. So I have to consider that. But I was just thinking of burning it. But <sighs> so here's my issue right now. I could use it all for power generation. You even make this a little more stable for power generation, right? But the issue with that is, oh, my, that's loud. The issue with that is if my supplies, so let's just say I don't need plastic anymore for whatever reason. If it, it fills up, then that's an issue. What we could probably do, which I haven't been able to do yet because it, there, there's just no setup for that. There is another inserter or, or splitter, which I don't think we have access to yet, I saw. So from what I'm wondering is with the other splitter that exists, I'm wondering if I can tell it to go one side till um, it can anymore then put the access amount to another one and the reason that's important is because what I can do is then do an, uh, a sink like the, the sink system and basically any resources not going to use just dump it into the sink and then that way it's always constantly running so my rubber and plastic is always moving no matter what kind of thing and if I do something like that then what I can do is I can calculate better and plan to use that as, uh, you know, for fuel for the actual power plants. And then it's always stable because then I know what I'm doing kind of thing. So it's something I'm thinking about and I need to research on that splitter a bit more and, uh, you know, figure out, you know, more on it. But uh, either way, yeah, so this should fix or not fix. This should give us a new vehicle. I mean, it could fix a vehicle for us, but uh, no, this opens up the Explorer which we need five of those darn things, and we we don't we just use them all. Um, there is no way I'm ending this episode without uh, getting some more of those. So give me a few minutes. <laughs> I was gonna be a smart ass and be like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna auto craft the, a bunch of these into the oscillator. And then I forgot. Wait a minute. It requires a manufacturer, and I forgot that it required a few things that we're running low on, which was the cables and the reinforced reinforced iron plates, which we need to make those. But that's a, a different time. So, yeah, we'll just grab a handful and then I'll hand make some of these guys. Um, but this thing is pretty damn fast, which is awesome. So. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hand make some and then we'll be back and uh, we'll try this out, you know, and just spend a couple of minutes just running around with it just because why not? Okay, my friends, we should be ready for this. Uh, explore. There it is. So it looks like it has about the same inventory as the tractor uh, size. So that's pretty cool. This thing looks pretty badass. I'm interested in its speed and stuff. Wow. This Well, it definitely moves faster. Now, here's the question. How... Well, obviously can't just climb up random things like that, but I heard it can do better at climbing, so it gets stuck less. Yeah, it can't quite climb that. I heard it, it's, like, really good at climbing vertical surfaces. It was, like something I read I'm like eh. oh I mean that was pretty cool but I guess some things like you would think normally you might get stuck on or have issues it climbs really well so I mean I think that's where where it's at you know like where this might be more troublesome it just kind of yeah, oh yeah that works really well actually Yeah, I'd, I'd say it works really well. This would be a pretty fun uh, little exploration vehicle. Except when you hit... The, oh, this place sucks because of those things. I wonder if the uh, the truck uh, gets impeded as much with those. I think little rocks would impede this a bit more just because the other one... I would assume the other one makes it a little easier. 
because bigger tires probably can just go right over them so I guess everything has its pros and cons obviously but hey this is pretty cool it'd be great for your regular travel though like you know like you're not going into a middle of a forest or you know in the middle of this but you're rather driving on the you know more de designated pathways or at least what looks like a pathway then obviously this probably would be more superior in speed and stuff oh there's uranium over there and death if we go there It's interesting the the frame. It's like it feels like there's something mess missing, but I guess it's just it, you know it needs to be like wide enough and big enough to not flip over all the time. And I guess it's just all like you know reinforcement bars, you know, to just kind of hold it in there and steady and you know in place. Very very cool. And it uses a lot more fuel. It's, it, I think it's the, yeah, I can tell by the amount of fuel it's used. It's, it's definitely the most fuel usage out of all the vehicles as well. So you definitely, if you're going to go on a trip with this, you definitely want to bring extra fuel with you. There you have it, my friends. Pretty badass. So cool. That was a nice little treat there for the end there. Um, what other things can we uh, end here? We were looking at this stuff. Yeah, it needs a bit more of those guys anyways. Um, I guess I can do the radio signal scanning. Not a big deal. Um, yeah, I guess I can do that. Oh, it says I can't afford it, even though... Oh, I'm off one little engine thingy. Uh, do, 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 do. There you go. I was like, that doesn't make sense. It says it's all lit up, and then I was like... I'm blind. Okay, I'll do that, and then maybe I'll throw another uh, hard drive in uh, in between episodes, and we'll see what unlocks the next episode. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll work on that rubber. I'll get the rubber like over into my factory somewhere over here, you know, so it can be used for some stuff. And then I think what we're gonna do is use more steel. Honestly, I think we need to look into. Uh, I might even attempt to expand my steel off camera, but. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to do something there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And we will see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.